All right, several of y'all have asked for some deer recipes. And today is the day that we're gonna do one. I have diced up a green bell pepper, a red bell pepper, and an onion. Or I've chopped them up. Now I'm gonna dice them with this little thing that I bought here to cut down the time. I'm gonna put them in a pan and just sweat them, kind of saute them down. As soon as they start getting translucent, they're good. Alright, if you're new to the channel, you have to forgive our little redneck kitchen. But if you follow on the channel, you know that we're living in a camper right now, and this is our outside building where we've kind of made a makeshift kitchen until we get our house built. But all I've done is put diced up red, green bell pepper and onion. Now I'm going to add some minced garlic to this and some diced jalapenos, and this is what we're going to stuff our back strap with. You're looking for measurements i don't really have them i tend to do everything to taste there's about three forkfuls of diced jalapenos like i said one big bell pepper uh, a green one one big red one and i did a half an onion i'm gonna do a couple squirts of this minced garlic now all i'm gonna do is boil this get some of the liquid off cook those peppers and onions till they turn translucent that's good enough and that's releasing those flavors now whenever I stuff them into the back strap they'll already be releasing some of that flavor as that back strap warms up because the thing about deer meat is you want to cook that rare to medium rare at the most so I like for these to already be releasing some flavor before I put it in since we're not going to be cooking this meat a long time let some of this flavor come out of the peppers all right now that those peppers and onions have uh, started to turn translucent, kind of sweat out those good flavors, I take my back strap and I six it up in chunks, I don't know, five or six inches long, just like this, leave it nice and thick. The reason you want to leave it nice and thick is that I'm going to cut a pocket up in it. I don't want to cut all the way through. So I'll insert my knife. A fish fillet knife works great for this. You can see what I've done is I've just cut a big pocket in it. Like I said, I didn't cut all the way through. Came close to doing that. And this pocket is what we're going to stuff with this pepper concoction. Now you can see what I've done here. Bell peppers, onions, garlic. Just stuff it all in there where it'll close up nicely then I'll take some bacon and we'll wrap it closed You can also uh, stuff these with cream cheese too. That's just what I'm looking for right there. Now you can smoke this, which is excellent, or you can grill it like we're gonna do. All right, it's about that time. As you can see, I put the coals to one side. What I like to do with these, because I wanna cook these medium rare, which is about 140 to 145 degrees for venison. I'll start warming them up on this open side right here, and then right at the end, I'll put them directly over the coals to cook that bacon. And I'll sear that on both sides because that bacon requires a higher temp than this deer meat does. Now you can see I've got seasoning on here. One thing I forgot to mention inside that's very important that makes this recipe is Montreal steak seasoning. It's a wonderful seasoning. 
We use that on all of our steaks and it's excellent on deer meat too. Now if the bacon falling off like this bothers you, stick some toothpicks in. But I found it's pretty easy to flip it back on there. All right. I put that bacon over those coals to kind of sear it and bring it up to temp. Pulled these to the side earlier because they were way past done. They're smaller pieces. But like I said, you want to cook your deer anywhere from 140 to 145 max. And well before you get to that temp, go ahead and put your bacon over the coals to kind of bring it up the temp to make it safe because pork you'd normally cook about 20 degrees higher. At least that's my rule of thumb for it. All right, well, hopefully you enjoyed that recipe. This is a great recipe, one that we actually haven't cooked in quite a while, and we used to love this one a lot. Like I said, you can do this one, either smoke the meat all day, well, not all day, for a few hours, because you don't want to overcook it, or you can grill it. It turns out great either way. Go ahead and cut into a piece and show you what it looks like. If y'all can see this, let me show you here. It's stuffed with all those peppers. Like I said, it's wrapped with the bacon, which will add some fat and flavor to it. It's such a great way to cook backstrap. So give this a shot. Like I said, uh, you can also put cream cheese in it. That's a great way to do this as well. But I we love, love when you do the cream cheese. Yeah, cream cheese is great, especially with anything that you stuff. But the peppers, the onions, they give a great flavor. The bacon adds some fat and uh, moisture back to the meat because it's already dry meat as it is, but it tastes awesome. Just put you some steak sauce on it. Uh, whatever, whatever you like to eat with steak, it works great on it. We cook them the same exact way. So hopefully you like this recipe. I got plenty more coming. Thanks for watching.